Hey there, welcome to Song Science. So in this course, I'm gonna teach you how chords work. So I know a lot of songwriters sometimes gravitate to the same chord progressions every single time. You maybe have your one go-to chord progression or you have a few sets of them, and you wanna break out of your songwriting muscle memory. So if you're tired of using the same chords and you're not quite sure how chords work, then this course is for you. So here are some chords you might be familiar with, the C, G, A minor, F. There are tons of songs that use this chord progression, and if we look at it in terms of Roman numerals, that is the 1, 5, 6, 4 chord progression. And if you're not familiar with the whole Roman numeral thing, don't worry, we're going to be getting into that in the course. Now say we take the 5 away, and instead we add a 3 there. Then what we get is a song like Alesso's Heroes. Now say we take the 4 chord away, and instead we add a 5. Now we get Miley Cyrus's Party in the USA. Now say we take the 6 away, and instead we add a 4. Now we have Let's Get It On by Marvin Gaye. Now say we take the 3 away, and instead we add a 6. Now what we have is Heart and Soul. And if we take that four away and we add a two, we have Big Girls Don't Cry by the Four Seasons. So ultimately this course will help you build popular chord progressions, understand the characteristics of each of these chords, break any songwriting muscle memory that you might have, get you writing different songs than you were before, show you how melody and chords affect your story, and help you how to understand all these concepts with real examples of real songs. If you're not happy with the course for any reason, you can always return it. You have a 30-day money-back guarantee. I'm excited to teach you and really start getting you to write new songs that you might have not written before. And if you're ready to start learning, I'll see you on the inside.